Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going in store to IKEA. I'm gonna film a bit of a come shop with me and I'm also gonna show you some brand new products new for summer. We're at that really exciting stage in our renovation when we can actually start looking at furniture, decor, rugs, and like filling the spaces now. So I've been on the IKEA website and I found about 15 or 16 brand new things that I wanted to check out. And I also wanted to like have a look at everything else as well. I love that you can shop online um, but I find that when you actually go into store to Ikea you can see like how they style it see it in situ and then see every other product like around it um, so I'm excited to go and do that today I'm also going to show you anything else that catches my eye so I hope you really enjoy this video if you do give it a big like and if you're new please subscribe I have so much more house content coming and I do love a bit of Ikea I've done quite a few videos before so I'll make sure to link them in the description I think I did like my best IKEA buys ever and things like that um, anyway with all that said let's go shopping okay so here we are at IKEA Lakeside this is our local IKEA and we have loads of memories here we came here when we got our first flat our first house had our first baby we filled the nursery with ikea things um so here we are on the shop floor as you can see it was nice and quiet it looks like a monday morning is a great time to come to ikea and i would say if you ever come to pick up something that you saw online definitely check stock levels before you do because they have all of that information online but anyway as you walk in you're greeted with some summer displays i really like the look of these cactus ornaments i thought they were really really cute and in one of the displays they were next to this drinks dispenser which I thought would be great for entertaining or also just even for your kids during the summer so you don't have to keep fetching drinks you could fill it up with water or juice or like infused water you could put like lemon watermelon and water for the kids in that and they could help themselves I also really like the look of these salt and pepper shakers I thought that they looked really really chic and they were about 10 pounds each and then we also saw a new set of crockery which was this um, plate and bowl set they were 10 pounds each and I really liked the look of those and then in this area here again we liked like the way that it was laid out we liked the bowls um, but especially liked the coffee tea and like storage that they had they started from like two pounds um, but they were like a black tin and yeah really liked the look of those I also loved this pink vase. I haven't got loads of pink in the house, but when we do my new office, I'm definitely gonna make it quite pink. I might do pink paneling. And I thought that this looked really nice and it was just 10 pounds. Then I also saw this, like it said it was an hourglass, but it's actually a four minute glass because um, the sand just runs through for four minutes. But I thought it was really cute for like to have on a shelf or something. But you could also use it to like time the kids to like get ready in the morning although it is glass so it would have to be older kids um then we also saw this like charging station so you can just sit your phone on it and that was 17 pounds and they also had these really nice black lanterns they had put their like faux plants in them but you could actually put real plants or candles or something like that I just thought that they looked like really nice and then this chair we absolutely loved might even buy this for our living area I've never seen it in Ikea before and we thought it looked really stylish it was 129 pounds but it was in the sale so I think there's like 10 pounds off at the moment but it just looks like the type of furniture you could like have inside but then when it's nice and sunny, you could actually take it out onto the terrace or onto like um, the patio as well. And I saw it in a few different scenarios as we walked around the shop, like it was in a bedroom setup and an office setup. So I think it is quite a versatile chair. And then we also saw these bookcases. These are the Billy bookcases. Of course, they're not new. They've been around for a while, but they're so good in like a living space for storage or even a bedroom space as well. You can build them up so they come in sections and they come in all different colors, but I really liked this wooden color because wooden furniture is really in at the moment. I actually like this whole setup, but even the light, that big light, I think it was 55 pounds, um, whereas the bookcases for a, like a set like that is 145 pounds. I also thought that this little light was really cute and I wanted to show you a few rattan pieces that I saw in store. 
Latan is really in at the moment and Ikea had some great bits like this magazine rack. Um, obviously you could put magazines in it if you wanted to or you could do workbooks for the kids or you could even just have it on display um, as storage on like a nice set of shelves. I also saw this Rattan footstool which I think I might have shown in a previous Ikea video but I love the way it looks. It also has storage in the middle. It was 75 pounds but you could put books in it or even like a little blanket inside um, if you were short on space. And then I also loved this storage as well. I think these are new but again it's that sort of like rattan look. They had the larger one or these smaller ones which you can actually stack. So if you wanted to actually separate anything in terms of um, organization you could do that. I also really liked this um, PC holder. We saw it in the office section to kind of like raise your monitor but then we also saw it again in the bedroom section as like so you could have it like if you're gonna have like breakfast in bed or like working on your laptop in bed as well so you can actually like move it around which I thought was really cool and I also loved the light that they had in this bedroom space we've been looking for one like this to hang over our bath in our ensuite um, this one was 35 pounds but there were quite a few in store like this so I'll show you some more in a minute. I also even liked this bed frame. I thought it was really simple but really nice. And again, something else that was rattan were these laundry bins. I thought they looked really, really cool. I'm actually thinking of getting some laundry bins like this and then gluing wheels to the bottom of it so that I can kind of wheel it around upstairs. Um, I thought that would work quite well. Matt and I also really liked this chest of drawers. You just get a ton of storage for about £189. And I really like these baskets for storage for toys or knickknacks you can fold them halfway down or have them open like this um, but yeah we had a set of drawers like this when we had our babies and they were really really handy um, for like changing them on top but keeping all of their things inside I also loved this vase it was kind of like a clear black I think it was 22 pounds but I thought it looked like quite high-end quite expensive and then as I was walking through I thought that this room was pretty cool it was like a master bedroom kind of setup but it was all painted black but it just really worked and was really nice so I had to film it and then I also really liked these bookshelves I thought it was really clever how you can either have books on them or they've shown how you can actually put gift wrap or paper like a roll of paper through um, like the bookshelf bit so you can actually use it for like an art table as well I'm actually having a gift wrapping cupboard in our new house so I was thinking oh maybe I could buy them and put loads of different um, gift wrap on them I also really liked these storage boxes and then this table was just gorgeous I felt like it looked quite high-end it was actually quite pricey in terms of Ikea it was 699 pounds I think it did come in a smaller size which would obviously be less but I thought it looked really really solid almost like a nice walnut stain and I just thought it was a great dining table I feel like dining tables can be pricey I also love these armchair protectors I think they're just really cool if you want to put a drink down if you have like limited space and you don't have a side table these are great and I think they were 10 pounds come in different colors as well and then this couch was brand new to Ikea you can see it's got like the new label on it it was 450 pounds and it was like a gray fabric I really liked the shape of it and the fabric felt like if you spilt something on it it wouldn't like immediately stain which is always a plus and then I also saw the corner sofa of this couch a little bit later on um, this one was a thousand and ninety nine pounds so that bit more expensive obviously it was that bit bigger and I tested it out myself and it was actually very comfortable really nice like to sit on I can imagine this like in our lounge we actually haven't chosen a sofa yet but we really need to because the living room's nearly done but we have nowhere to sit then as I was walking through like the home office section we're so not ready to look at like office things but I just feel like when it comes to Ikea desks they are perfect for bedrooms or kids bedrooms as well so reasonable this one was 45 pounds and it was just a really good size and then also if you're short on space they had these really great ones that fold up so they kind of are attached to a wall but you can just pull them down they're 39 pounds you can pull them up as and when you need them I also really liked this unit I felt like it doesn't look as Ikea if that makes sense it looks like 
Um, I don't know, just really nice quality. It was £210. I think it would be a great sideboard or media center or even in a bedroom. I know it has two open shelves, but I really like the look of it. And then again, more lights. As I was walking around, one thing that did really stand out to me were the lights. I feel like they had such good choice and we actually need to choose quite a few for our house. So I mean, maybe that's why it was on my mind. Um, I also liked this one as well. And I did actually end up buying these outdoor lights. I really like the way that they look. Our garden is actually a project that we're gonna leave till next summer now we've kind of run out of motivation and money but we do want to entertain and I just think that they will look lovely on our little like summer house and kind of around the patio and stuff and I also saw this uh, TV setup and fire I don't think you can actually buy the fire in Ikea but I just thought it was quite cool so I wanted to film that show you guys but there was no like price anywhere so I think it was just like for effect if you know what I mean and then as I was walking through I saw this display which showed the rattan storage baskets used in a different way for plants so they kind of put the plant pots inside them those baskets are 13 pounds and I just thought it was quite a clever use for them as well um, I also just love all the artificial plants that are everywhere we have so many fedgkas in our house like the small ones that kind of fall down off of a shelf are only seven pounds and I love them I also really liked this braided mirror which was 25 pounds and then in the kitchen section I saw this product which I thought would be perfect for summer it's almost like a cutting board so you could put food on it or you know make one of those like grazing platters and then you can cover it up from flies so if you're having food outside I thought that was really good so there was 15 pounds and I did actually buy Buy that um, and then you know we're having a temporary kitchen at the moment this was actually on sale so if you were doing a kitchen renovation this was 180 pounds and you get a sink you get a small fridge and a little bit of worktop as well so I wanted to show you guys that just because it was like on my mind and then I also really liked this draining rack but I was saying to Matt almost I wouldn't use it as a draining rack this could fit into a drawer and you could actually just have your plates upright like that it was 25 pounds and then I also really liked this dining setup with the bench as well we're going to have a bench um, with our dining table and that was 399 pounds I also really liked this lampshade. I'm gonna have to find somewhere where I'll need this because it was 40 pounds. It looks like the kind of rattan colors, but it is in fact made of ribbon. It's just kind of been like intertwined um, and I really liked the way that it looked. And then a few other cool things that I saw were this side table, which actually at first I thought was a speaker, um, but it's actually a dehumidifier or an air purifier. So it was £150 pounds, and I actually love my Dyson one and I like the way that it looks but if you wanted kind of like a hidden one I thought it was quite cool and I also like these baskets again for a side table but you can also put blankets and storage in them more fedgkas these are everywhere but I just really like them as I said they're seven pounds and I feel like they just look good on like any shelf I feel like you could fit them into so many different rooms, even a shower they look nice in. I also really liked this small side table. It was 50 pounds, but I thought it would look really good in like a bathroom if you felt like you needed a little bit more space or like place to put a few bits. I liked the way they had plants on it as well. And I really liked this basket. I thought this would be great in the kids' rooms for soft toys or as they've shown it here with blankets, this would look really nice in a living room as well they had so many nice baskets I had to kind of hold back because I feel like we're not quite ready for all of the baskets but I will definitely come back so I think one of these would be really nice next to like our fireplace and it was 35 pounds as I was walking through, I also felt like they had really upped their game when it came to the kids section. I was thinking, I wish I had the kids with me because they would love it. Not only did they have loads of the soft toys and they turned the lighting down, there was even music as well, like animal music and stuff. I also really liked this little pillow. I thought it was really cute. And I kind of whizzed through the kids section, although I love their beds, love their cribs. We've had so much stuff from there. They also had some really cute bedside lights. 
like they were crayons or I really like these little owls which were just 15 pounds um, and yeah I mean we could spend ages in the kids section alone we've had their desks their Lego tables these tiny chairs are adorable but my kids are all so big now this is a little goal for babies I think it was like 25 pounds um, and then I also saw a new high chair which was obviously like wooden looks pretty funky but it was 165 pounds and I just think that you can't beat the original Ikea high chair that is just 15 pounds it's the easiest one to clean it's just the best one to have um, so anyway whizzed through the kids section and then I saw this notice board now this is new and I thought that it was really cool it's almost like a black felt and I thought it would work well like next to a desk or almost like on your command center if you wanted to put like invitations into it I also thought it was cute how they use the little um there we are <laughs> how they use the little um chair hooks and then we went into like the marketplace bit I was looking at these little roasting tins because they were so small I was like you could fit this into the air fryer and then they also had these clever little covers for bowls so they kind of stretch onto different sized bowls so if you wanted to like, keep a salad fresh etc you can just squeeze it on and then again I was looking at crockery that would fit into the air fryer because we've only been using that as our oven. I guess that's kind of what's on my mind, but they had some really nice small crockery that I thought would work really, really well. I also loved this cake stand because it looked cool, but it also spins around. So if you, I was like to Matt, this would be great if you had like a cake Instagram or TikTok account, you could put your cake on it and spin it around. But also if you were having dinner, you could have it in the middle and spin it around. I just quite liked it. They also had so many jars, which would be amazing in our pantry. But again, we're not quite ready for all that storage, but of course I will be back. And then I also wanted to show you this brand and new like rattan cooler it's so cool it's like a great alternative to a picnic basket so it has like the insulation inside it's 35 pounds and then you can put stuff in it either for a picnic or even if you're at home or if you're I don't know going to watch kids football or whatever you can put some stuff in there and they also had some brand new um like bedding colors for summer as well I also saw these palettes which I thought were quite cool because sometimes for the kids like Easter bath baskets or if you're doing like a father's day hamper or something sometimes I'll just buy a palette and then like dress it up you can paint it as well the small one was eight pounds and the large one was 13 pounds but you do have to build it yourself that's the only thing um and then I also quite like these little display I think it's called a cloche is that right um but I thought this would be great if you had anything I don't know like a trophy or something you really wanted to kind of like frame I thought that that was really cute sorry this is me looking at the cooler again because as we we're walking around it was in like a surf section the only thing that I realized when I saw it the second time is that the lid does just kind of fall off um but yeah they had this whole surf section and these bottles which I thought were quite cool they were 10 pounds but I'm always looking for stuff like this because my son plays football a lot and because it's really hot now these will actually keep um, the drink nice and cold. So I ended up buying one of those and then we were going through the lighting section. I spent ages in here because I really do rate their lighting at the moment. Um, so I was looking at that, really liked this display. There was a whole art section, which also we're still not ready for, um, but we'll definitely be back for some prints and stuff. And then we went to the plant section. We were looking for like a faux, olive tree um, but we couldn't actually find the one that we were looking for um, but they had some brand new rugs which were really really nice um, obviously like depends on what size you get but this one was 100 pounds it was quite large but it's got that kind of woven I was about to say rattan but it's obviously not rattan but you know it's that kind of color what does it say a uh, flat woven rug so yeah there was about three brand new ones of those which I thought were really nice and then I also really liked these rugs we'd like to get a large one for our new living space and I thought that this was really nice the way it had been like braided 
And then this was another brand new rug that starts from about £35 depending on size, which was really nice for our living space. I also really like the rugs on Ruggable, so I'm going to have to try and like compare which one we like better. But that's pretty much everything we looked at in store. I did get a couple of bits from the food section, so I'll show you what I got. Yeah, and then I went to the food section and I bought four boxes of the alphabet cookies. My kids love these as a snack. So whenever I go to Ikea, I kind of stock up on these. And then we also really like the ginger biscuits with almond. So I got a pack of these and normally I would buy the hot waffles, the meatballs and the meatball sauce but I still actually have some of the meatballs frozen in our freezer and the waffles as well from the last time that I went, so I didn't actually get them, but I always tend to buy the same things in terms of food. Um, but yeah, anyway, that is everything that we got from Ikea and also some of the new things that were in there. I hope you really enjoyed coming along with me. I hope you like this style video, something a bit different from me. Um, but yeah, anyway, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.